Guys, today is a very special day, right? Today is a kind of a day where you've seen me do something new that I've never done on this channel before, right? It's more like a journey, a process that I want to take you through. But first off, I'm going to try and keep it like a surprise a little bit. Maybe the title of this video may give me away. But before anything else, let's watch the market first. Let me break down the market. Let me see what I'm anticipating, right? That's going to more like give me that reasoning to feel like I have worked for the morning and there's nothing, there's nothing more to literally like watch out for before I head on with my main activity for the day, which I'm going to tell you about right after the breakdown. Basically, this is my home. This is where I trade from. This is like my whole system, my whole unit. This is my camp, right? This is my happy place. And I like this place for one thing, right? If you followed my journey for a long time, you realize that it's been um, an upgrade from an upgrade from an upgrade. I started trading from a single bedroom, then I upgraded to my two bedroom apartment, then I upgraded to my three bedroom semi-detached house. Then now I'm in my five bedroom, huge house, mansion, whatever you want to call it, right? But this has kind of been my happy place because almost all the places that I lived, it's like when I enter my bedroom, it's quite enclosed. There's no like, light coming in exposure openings and stuff like but this place is like extra diff different right let me let me just show you let me just show you guys what i like about this place you see this these two remote literally controls this one if i click on this one it opens this one up widely like that and if i click on this one too it opens this one also up widely like that it makes me feel a part of my neighborhood while i'm still watching the market and i find it incredibly amazing it's like my most priceless like you know gift of life at the moment right long story short let's get back into the chat yesterday i took a trade on euro card right and it did go well as well right i've had a lot of people ask me kojo can you do a breakdown what did you see and what made you sell euro card right i took a trade here for a sell my stop loss was right above you know the previous high and then i was expecting market to finally come here even though i've taken my my first profit here right but this was the trade setup and i did take the same on gbp card for gbp card you can see that i already have some markings there right but my whole intention was to short it now what happened is that for my private group members uh we got wicked out um a stop hand type of scenario nonetheless like i have trading accounts where i set up wide stops far more than what i would send out on the on the private group per se so i still have like some positions running on it but the idea is like watching gbp card literally drop and this morning we had that massive drop which made about 50 pips already right so that has been like my two positions for the week already apart from that i've been watching through the other pairs this is gold btc oil us 30 and i can tell you the truth i've not really seen anything as much right maybe we're now trying to like you know come close to like some key ranges like you can see with this nasdaq right nas 100 you can see it literally has come back to this previous resistance which could which could turn out to be a very interesting you know setup for a shot right and then apart from that um gj they're all like literally playing around i've not really seen anything so i'm gonna go on with the rest of the day's activity which is cooking for the first time for my wifey right she's daring me she's saying i'm, I'm always promising her i never cook and stuff like that so today i'm gonna give it my best my best chef skills right so baby follow me let's just go show you the skills follow me let me go show you the skill <laughs> And guys, today is Rick's birthday. Woo! Come out here, bro. Come out here. You're all branded in excellence. What's going on? Have they paid you? <laughs> guys, let me just make sure the door is locked up while Rick is leaving. He's going to be back anyway. So, Rick. Yeah. Rick, you say anything for your birthday? Can I say? You, you say for your birthday. What do you want for your birthday? Uh, I want Mr. Nifari to cook for me. Okay, okay, let me bless you. Yeah. I bless you with the market intelligence. I bre hey. <laughs> breast. <laughs> breast. <laughs> Did you get some? I bless you with breast. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> that means that means that uh -huh. you must you must be thinking of settling. Oh, very yeah, soon. That's it, very soon. I yeah. feel you. I feel you. My friend is coming to the guy. Shoot your shots. Shoot your shots, guys. Yeah, shoot your shots. Right? Guys, come. Let's let's motivate you small. Let let me motivate you. Let me motivate you, guys. Let me motivate you. So you see, so you see, far there, far there starts with the Mercedes Benz. 
is actually one of the cars I've driven in the, in the longest time and then it's been actually a long time I drove that car. It's been pretty much about a month already or two months if not. This, is, this has turned out to be my favorite. Guys come closer. This has turned out to be my favorite. This is a Range Rover, right? I feel like it gives me that um, befitting recognition anytime I'm, in, I'm driving in the city, right? Because you see here it has Kojo Forex written on it. But this is like my everyday car. I love it because it's like really sporty and fast and cute and mid-range size, right? So yeah, I love that. But Ricky, got to go get something, come back. And then he's gonna probably come I'm to meet the food. You guys, I'm gonna see you guys on the flip side of line. How's it back? Please buy collodion when you're coming back. <laughs> So guys, one thing that I really like about my house, why are you smiling, baby? Why are you smiling? One thing, I'm gonna be very honest with you, one thing I really like, I have so many spots in my house that I love, like my office, which is like my trading room, my bedroom, I love it. The hall down here, I love it. The hall upstairs, I love it, you know? In fact, the backyard, I love it. I literally love so many spots here, but one of my most favorite, I'm gonna be very honest though, one of my most favorite places that I feel so relaxed. It's not a place that normally you're supposed to feel relaxed, but for me, I feel so relaxed when I get to that place. It's my kitchen, guys. I love the kitchen so much. Welcome to my kitchen. Ooh, it's actually my down kitchen. That's my favorite. The top kitchen, I'm not so familiar with it. I'm, uh, I'm not getting the vibe, but this is my down kitchen, right? Look at it. Look at the whole setting. One minute, is, it can easily change. Look at the lightning, right? Let me just literally give you guys a feel of the whole kitchen lightning, right? Yeah, this is like. So you guys, you can already see my kitchen. Incredibly beautiful, right? So I love literally everything about this kitchen. It has like the wildest of your dream, like equipment and fixtures. This is like our our washer, right? So my wife don't have to be like washing the bowls and stuff again. It's something that, that I feel like is gonna even like be very interesting for future kids to come because they only have to be like washing bowls. I hated washing bowls as a kid. So, I mean, if you have technology doing that. And this is our cooktop, right? You can see it very neat, clean. It's not like the normal type. It's not a normal one. No. <laughs> it's our fridge, it's our microwave and then all those stuff, right? But one thing I also love is how it can totally change the tone of the room, right, the kitchen space, when I open this, these windows up, right? The moment, the moment I open these blinds up, it brings up a whole lot of light. And um, I, I, need, I need light to cook. I'm gonna be cooking rice and eggs to you. That's, that's what my wife wants to eat. That's what I want to also cook. So um, follow through the journey, right? Before that, we bought all this chef stuff. This for me, this for my wife. <laughs> we both one for Rick though. <laughs> Rick is our adapted son. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be using mine first, right? Let's see how I look. I'm more than Shebasi, bro. <laughs> I should probably be targeting Guinness World Record as well. This one is what I'll be using to pick stuff. Oh, but this is for baking, you know? Yeah, I'm not trying to bake, but you know, I'm just showing <laughs> them. I'm showing you guys that this is what we use for bacon and all those things, right? I think we said all that is left is me coming up with the ingredients, you know, and then... Ah, stop playing! <laughs> For my egg stew, I have tomatoes, I have pepper, I have onions, I have sausages, I have maggi cubes, I have egg, geisha, geisha what? Mackerel, mm -hmm. garlic powders and ginger powders, a few bit of curry powders, I like, I like curry though. Then I have some table salt and hot pepper, right? Chili pepper and oil here, right? First off, if you're cooking, you must, you must make sure that you're cooking in a well neat environment. It starts with me washing my hands. I'm gonna show me how to use the cooktop. <laughs> I don't know how to use the cooktop, let me be honest. So first, I cook very different from my wife. She's never seen me cook before. The way I cut my tomatoes, don't watch it because it's all gonna go into the oil, so it doesn't even matter. Guys, I'm trying to challenge Chef Bassi, right? What's her name? Hilda. Hilda Bassi, right? Yeah, I'm trying to challenge her. She literally went, went for the neck of the holder of the Guinness World Record. Mm -hmm. 100 times. And I'm going for her head. <laughs> I'm going for her head and her legs. You have to get an ASMR. <laughs> 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 
Hello. Hi. Who do we have here? <laughs> we have Terry here, guys. Let me just go open him. Welcome <laughs> to the Chef City. Ah. <laughs> Stop yeah. playing! Terry, what are your expectations for the food today? Ah, for the food yes. today? Yes. Oh, I'm open minded. <laughs> <laughs> you better be open minded, bro. Let's go. I'm giving you my secret recipe of stew. My secret. <laughs> yes. Terry, why are you laughing? Terry. Terry, why are you laughing? <laughs> hey! Terry, you're saying you can't do maybe some noodles or some indomie or something. Oh, that's cheap. That's that's funny, bro. That's play. We don't play out here. Oh, that's Terry thing. Can they see some eggs and some? No, <laughs> no, Terry, stop playing. No, I like to cut my sausages in a stylish way. The way Terry, they laugh. You be like, you know, they trust me. Keeping an open mind. Keeping an open mind, eh? You doubted me, but you're beginning to see the light. What I should have done that I didn't do is to, to crack my eggs. I need a cute bowl. Please, you should put the oil in by now. Mm -hmm. You said that's all you need to do to like Are you coaching the coach? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't coach me. Before they say that you cook the food yourself. Oh, baby, relax for me. <laughs> Terry, tell him to make sure you relax. Okay, I'm not going to talk again. Quiet. I'm cooking for you. Like, trust me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Terry, Terry. What Terry they do now? Does not know what he's doing. Your assistant chef is looking like he just came from the side. <laughs> 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 wow, this is impressive, you know. <laughs> I'm impressed though. Did you cut this for him? No, he shot me himself. Yo, my G! My G! Rick, stop, stop playing You're with me, you know. The turtle <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's right time for the tomatoes to also go in. I'm using like hot pepper. I'm not using grinded, grinded raw pepper. I like, my wife loves pepper. He told me if okay. my pepper is okay for you. Okay. Is this okay? Just put it in and add a little more. A little more for now, right? Yeah. Like this one? Yeah, it's okay for me. Okay. So me, I, I, I'm not really the type that likes a lot of pepper in my food. And then you see, pepper comes out when you add salt. I've not added salt, so I'm not gonna be deceptive with myself. You know, sometimes people, sometimes some, some cooks don't know this. They put in pepper, tomatoes before salt, and then they are testing the pepper, tomatoes when they've not added salt. And they say, ah, there's no pepper, there's no pepper. And they put a lot of pepper before they add it. And they realize, wow, they literally spoiled the food. You know that thing, right? I'm telling you the secret. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sharing the secret. Sharing the real secret. Now the pepper is hot. But there are still some more things to add, so my cooking assistant has been sucked. <laughs> With immediate effect. Don't worry, I'll help with the seven. My birthday food, so I'm taking it personal. You have to. Thank you, Mr. Nibale. What, what else can I do for you today? <laughs> Chef Chi. <laughs> <laughs> I like my rice well so I'm that chef where you come to my kitchen and you find half Maggi cubes. <laughs> you, you know that thing, right? I'll done yourself. Have you added the geisha? I've added the Which other soups we get, chef? Lax. Lax. So if you added the geisha. <laughs> Now oh, it's beginning to smell good, right? Yes, it is. And the egg too, we don't just pour it straight away like that. You know how we do it? You pour it in circles. Yeah, don't whisk it. You pour it in circles like that. Then what, what I have to now do, right, mm -hmm. is I cover it for a while so that the egg would act as if it's frying, you know. That way, when you start stirring it, it can now tear apart. You know, it wouldn't like mix up like. Yeah. You, you get the sauce. I get it. That's a lot of things going on here. You're gonna enjoy my food though. My job is literally almost done. It's just about get the rice getting ready and we sitting down to eat, to feast. In fact, that's the right word to use. Let's go. Right? Look at how it's looking. Sumptuous. 
clean, beautiful, sweet, tastely. <laughs> but I think you're impressed. That's that that was my goal. My goal was to make you know that the fact that I haven't done it doesn't mean I don't know how to do it. And I think guys, you follow through the process. You've seen me start from the beginning, cut my onions, cut my tomatoes, literally like you know, fill the pot up with all my ingredients. And we, we've come out with like something like well appreciable you feel me yeah. <laughs> so don't doubt me next time you know the, the, the food i'm gonna do for you yeah. i'm gonna do that my special contour rescue for you okay. then i'm gonna do my special light soup for you okay. then i'm gonna do my special granite soup for okay. you i you know special yes. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm gonna my impress son, you just <laughs> <laughs> I'll be you. <laughs> oh i make everybody taste that you know taste that right that is already the salt Ah, no, no, no. Let me give you a good taste. 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 Give you a good taste. It's a little hot, but you can manage. It okay. won't burn you. It won't burn you. Mm -hmm. Life happened. Baby, you said you want to eat a lot, right? Yes. It's okay for you? Yeah. I should add some more stew. Yes. Thank you. It's okay? Yes. Should we go and put it there? Yes, please. Serving you. Oh. <laughs> Let me choose my own drink. Yeah, you should. I'll choose a glass for you. What glass do you want to do? Do you like this type? The first taste. Oh. You're surprised that I did it, right? Good. You're surprised that I cooked it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. Fantastic. <laughs> my brother. Where did you learn this, my brother? <laughs> I cook for the final judge. Let's get your reaction. Mm hmm. Mm. I did well, eh? You did, it's nice. Mm-hmm. Yes, you finished. Mm, I'll do I'm more so for proud you. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did a good job. So guys, there you had it. The cooking challenge was done. I literally cooked for the whole family. Today is Rick's birthday. Happy birthday, brother man. Thank you. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, you want me to do more calm type of a video like this and then you know show you behind the scenes of my real life. You know, including sometimes the chat. Work. Currently, I'm watching the chat anyway, but there's nothing more to talk about. That's why I'm not involved in it, right? But anything else, click in the link in the description to join the Kutu Forest Telegram community, the biggest trading community in the whole of West Africa. Click in the link to sign up with Xness, my number one broker, recommended broker worldwide, right? Also, connect with me on all social media at KOJOFREX. Smash on the like button if you haven't done that. In fact, smash on the like button now and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that. We hit a 160 subscriber mark. In fact, 161, I think, where we're heading straight to 200k i hope you guys love this video i'm going to see you in the next one peace